The world famous Laugh Factory and K Earth 101 proudly present the USO GI Comedy Boot Camp with America's funniest comics and introducing GI comedians from the United States Armed Forces. Wow, this is really something out here. I got signed in places where I didn't even know I had places. And GI food takes a new twist in the desert. Does SOS really stand for s s sand on a shingle? And it's still coming. Look at here. Come on, man. Look at him come. Oh, damn. I'm just a drunken soldier with the rifle on my shoulder and I'm ready for whatever comes my way. So feed me ammunition to keep me in condition. You're a drunken soldier, boy, so big. Tonight is the first night of a brand new concept called GI Comedy Boot Camp. This is where we have active duty and some retired military coming in to do their thing on stage here at the Laugh Factory in support of the USO. It's so critical. The USO's mission is critical, and also the mission of our military is something that needs to be supported. So tonight, when these guys get on this stage, they're going to be viewed and critiqued and coached by professional comedians. They'd like to have a career in comedy, and so we're going to help them along and also help the USO at the same time. Tonight, this place is going to be filled with people who support the military, people who support the USO, and they're here for a good time, and they're going to get it. G.I. Joanne with the Army National Guard. Tom is Michael Tran, Staff Sergeant, United States Army, Airborne. I am Tom, an extremely deranged Sergeant Large Murataki with the California Army National Guard. I'm a medic. My name is uh, Chief Warrant Officer 4 Mike DeTamo with the United States Marine Corps. My name is Captain Greer Jones, United States Marine Corps. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Kurt Schlichter, United States Army, California Army National Guard. Uh, Sergeant Jones, retired, US, United States Army. Hi, I'm Jamie Masada. I'm the owner of the Laugh Factory for the past 30 years. If you want to be in the business of stand-up comedy, send me a tape. I would help any way I can. You would be the first priority for me. Myself, if you send me a million copies of it, I'll make sure all of them, I sit down and watch them. i got to tell you guys, you the soldiers, you guys, you're my heroes. So please, send me a tape. I'd love to help any way I can to get your dream coming through. You could send me a tape to thelabfactory.com or my phone number right here. I give you my word, I watch every one of your tapes. I look forward to seeing you guys, my heroes. Thank you. They put me in the infantry and my mother said, oh, why are you going in the infantry? I said, mom, there's 10,000 soldiers, 9,000 men, 1,000 women. Do the math, yeah. do the math. It's weird, man. I'm gonna start dating again for the first time. I was on a date with a girl a couple weeks ago, very nice girl, very nice date. But ladies, I don't get the signs. I don't understand the signals, girls. She was trying to be very sensual at dinner, very sexy with her food. She had a piece of cheesecake and went, oh, that was better than sex. I'm like, really, have you ever had sex? As a matter of fact, I'm also licensed in Orange County as an emergency medical technician. If you should choose to have a heart attack in the middle of my performance, I'll be more than happy to jump out there and save your life. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this awesome gadget right here. I'm gonna hold it out in front of me, and I'm going to dial 911. How many people think there's too many Viagra and Levitra commercials on TV? I mean, it's like constantly, they just keep pounding us and thrusting us and driving this into us. This, it's, it's a flood of, of these commercials. It's like Viagra Falls. It just, it, it, it doesn't stop. And, and it, can be pretty, it can be pretty awkward depending on the kind of, the people that you're with when you're watching these commercials. The other night I'm watching a sporting event and a uh, Viagra commercial comes on and my six-year-old son Jared says, uh, Daddy, uh, what's an erection? <laughs> so I told him the truth. I said, uh, son, an erection is a political contest in Japan. <laughs> How are we doing tonight? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. All right, so it's a lot of firsts for me. This is the first time I've ever done stand-up. 
I'm running my first marathon this Sunday down in San Diego. Thank you. And uh, just recently I started doing that online date. Now who here is with a date that they met online? <laughs> All right, we're the two most pathetic people in here tonight. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you so much. It's great to be here in front of a bunch of uh, uh, veterans, proud veterans. I'm very honored to be up here. But you may not know that some of our celebrity hosts are also combat veterans. Paul Rodriguez was in the Air Force, and of course, Tom Arnold was married to Roseanne. <laughs> True, she's like my drill sergeant, but not as hot. <laughs> what, he had a camo thong. I just came back from the sandbox about a year ago, um, Iraq. Yeah. And um, one of the first questions I get from most civilians is they say, well, you know, what's it like? I said, well, okay, um, I can only tell you about my experience. I can't tell you about everyone's, but Two of the things that stick out to me is that it's just hot. I mean, just hot as fire. I mean, it makes Flagstaff look like the Antarctic hot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tileman, Executive Director of the Bob Hope Hollywood USO at LAX. I want to offer a special salute, not only to our pro comedians and our GI comics, but to our host for this evening, Mr. Gary Bryan and K-Earth 101. Gary and the station have been instrumental in helping us to raise the funds to build and to operate our state-of-the-art USO facility at LAX. Now, however, we need to keep the doors open and to continue to provide 24-7 support to the more than 50,000 American troops and their families who visit us each year, who depend on our safe haven and also on the USO's famous touch of home for their safety and comfort. We hope that you like our GI Comedy Boot Camp from the world famous Laugh Factory and that you will show your appreciation by donating online at www.bobhopeuso.org. I thank you and salute you. This is really critical and it's very important. Whenever you have an opportunity to support the USO, Remember, it's a charitable 501c3 organization. Something I didn't know before, five or six years ago, is that the USO gets no support from the military, it doesn't get taxpayer money, there's no bailout for the USO unless you support the USO. Everything you do for the USO is tax deductible, and it's critical that you show your support for these people who are volunteering to serve their country. It's very important. I think something we all feel here tonight is that we look around the Laugh Factory and we see these, you know, active duty military and, and, and in some cases retired military, recently retired uh, stand-up comedians, people who really want to get a career in comedy. It's obvious to me uh, that some of these people are going to become superstars and deny that they ever met me or knew me or were ever at the Laugh Factory in Long Beach. But do I care? <laughs> yeah, because I got them on stage here. But hey, don't thank me. Thank Jamie Masada in the Laugh Factory. <laughs>